everybody for the night yeah. so <clears throat> this is supreme sundays and um like i never knew how important it was to know your self-worth and i know that sounds really dumb like girl how you don't know that i i understand but hear, hear me out like i never really embodied how important that is to know your self-worth and to have the best esteem for yourself and of yourself. I never really embodied that until recently in my life. And it's like, I could have avoided so many, like I'm not ashamed of anything that I've went through or been through or, or, or whatever. Like that's a part of the process. I get it. However, it's like so many things could have been avoided. The road could have been so much smoother if I would have known my self-worth. Like you have to, what's the word I'm looking for? You have to unabashedly love yourself. Look that word up. You have to unabashedly love yourself. Love yourself and know your worth. Because you can avoid so many people, places, and things if you would have just been like, I'm the shit. Period. That's that what everybody, that period, poo, whatever. You can, you can avoid so much that these eyelashes are bothering me. I need to unabashedly love myself and get these lashes done and stop being lazy. Cheese and rice. Like, I'ma give you, I'ma give you something that, that happened, that happened recently. Like, and that's just not for women. Like, when people hear, like, oh, you have to love yourself and have high health, self esteem and all that stuff, that's not just for women. That's for men too. Because you can avoid a lot of stuff if you just be like, you know what? I know my worth. I'm not dealing with this. That's crazy. I'ma give you an example. And I was being wrong. So I don't know if this is my version of an apology. I've apologized to this person because I, like, for me, I'm not going to lie. I got to be dead wrong to apologize. I'm working on that. It's hard for me to be like, I'm like, I can't, like, I can't, I can't get it out. Whatever. So, um, I have a friend, right? So he invites me over to his house. So we cool. Like, it's cool. Whatever. We laughing, joking, everything is good. Things took a turn because I was like, I, unbeknownst to him, he didn't know, like, he didn't know what was going on with me in the situation that I was dealing with with another person that I felt like this person, um, not that I felt this person crossed the gun line and, um, they were no longer going to be in my life. But see, just because you get rid of toxic people doesn't mean that shit don't hurt. Excuse my language. Like, I'm just like, damn, like you just could not get right. Huh? You just, you just, you just going to always be like this. So I was dealing with that and I guess, not I guess, I thought it was conducive for me to be, um, be an asshole to this person, excuse my language, because I was going through something else. You know, because people don't understand, like, people are like, oh, I can't believe you took your anger. Yes, and you take your anger and your shit out on the people that's closest to you. Is it messed up? Yes. Is it the truth? Yes. That's what happens. Like, that's the reality. But anyway, that's besides the point. So he like, Alexis, you got to get out. Now, let me tell you something. I ain't never, I've never, nobody's ever said, Lex, you got to get out. Like, you got to get out. Like, I mean, like, I was like, oh my God, like, I got to get out. <laughs> At first, yo, I ain't going to hold you. At first, I'm like, who got to get out? Remove me. Like, I, I, I got aggressive at first, and I'm like, then I immediately checked myself. I said, you know what, Lexus? You can't do that. Like, you can't do that. You can't act like that. Like, that shit is whack. Like, I had a whack moment. Like, we all have whack moments. Like, I had a whack-ass moment. And I had to apologize. Like, you know, I apologize for behaving like that in your home. And, you know, for not, like, having that conversation with you about what happened. Because the person was asking me, like, what was wrong. Because I guess they felt like my energy was off or something like that. And I just didn't want to talk about it. And instead of me just... You know, just saying, all right, this is what's going on or whatever and becoming vulnerable in front of this person and doing that. I'm just like, nah, I just, I, you know, I don't have to deal with this right now. I'm here. I want to enjoy myself. However, like I said in previous videos, I, it is, it, it is hard for me to, to hold things in when I, especially when the feeling is strong, like it, it manifests itself in other ways. And then, you know, other things start happening. So I would just say this. He unabashedly loved himself that day because he had to put my ass out. But I, I say that to say this, like, you know, love on yourself, man, and know your self-worth. You can avoid so many things knowing your worth. 
you can avoid so many, so many things. And when I sat down and I'm really thinking about it, like, if I would have loved myself unapologetically, woo, talk about it on this Sunday. I'm about to get deep. If you just love yourself unapologetically, so many Bad situations can be avoided. You will, your your energy and what you project when you love yourself unabashedly, certain people won't even come your way. Now, you, you're going to get the ones that, that, that try to break through, but you can avoid so many situations, so many negative people, so many things if you just love on yourself some more. Because see, when you love yourself, you don't treat yourself bad. When you love yourself unabashedly, you don't treat yourself bad. You don't put yourself in a situation where you're going to let another person treat you bad. So on this Supreme Sunday, love on yourself. Love on yourself unapologetically, unabashedly. Love on yourself. It don't matter who don't like it. Oh, well. Oh, well. I can't believe I got put out, y'all. <laughs> Really had to apologize though because I was out of pocket. I was and I wanted somebody to take my anger out on. I was feeling really uh, it was a lot these past couple of days. My feelings were up and down. But uh, you know, we made it through. We're here. And um, I want everybody to enjoy their Sunday. Appreciate the people you have in your life. And you know, I'm a, people always say, Oh, you always appreciative, like when I talk about how I was appreciative to to have the food eat. Yes, because there are a lot of people that are hungry. You would be surprised, like when you work out. When you work <clears throat> in the field of social worker, you work helping other. Your job is to help others. You see it live and in color, straight up. There are a lot of people who don't don't even have a a, a, a pack of uh, oodles and noodles. You understand what I'm saying? They gotta find out where they're gonna get their next drink of water. Where they're gonna get a coat? Where they're gonna sleep? You know what I'm saying? That they sick? Where they gonna get their medicine? So yes, you know, on this Supreme Sunday, appreciate your family and love yourself unabashedly.